Phosphorus is a nutrient that is vital to human, animal, and plant growth. It's one of the most common substances found in nature. It's found in our water, our food, and our bodies. It's a highly reactive, non-metallic element existing in three allotropic forms, white, or sometimes yellow, red, and black. In its pure form, it's toxic. Phosphorus occurs naturally at low levels in water, plants, and animals. It occurs unnaturally in fertilizers used in agriculture, cleaners used in industry, and wastewater from household sewage. We need it to survive in low levels. However, high levels of phosphorus in nature can create algal blooms, causing the premature aging of a body of water. This process decreases sunlight and oxygen levels, negatively affecting fish and other aquatic life. To begin the test, turn on the heating block. Use hot kit TNT 72. Prepare a series of vials, blank, standard, and others as needed. Using a micro pipetter, add 5 milliliters of deionized water to vial marked blank. Add 5 milliliters of standard solution to a vial marked standard. Add 5 milliliters of collected sample to vial marked sample. Add one potassium persulfate pillow to each vial. Cap and invert vial two to three times to mix. Insert all the vials into the block. Digest for 30 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. When finished, remove all vials from the heating block using tongs. Cool the vials to touch. From the kit, remove the sodium hydroxide solution, 1.54 in. Using a micro pipetter, add 2 milliliters to each vial. From the kit, remove the molybda vanadate. Using a micro pipetter, add 5 milliliters of molybda vanadate. Tap and invert two to three times to mix. Wait seven minutes. Choose favorite program on Hox Spectrophotometer 3900. Choose method 542, total phosphorus HRTNT. Press start. Place vial marked blank in spec and press zero. Repeat with other vials, pressing read. Record results in parts per million in the bench sheet.